Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Rama. Rama Rama. Rama Rama. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. Dear devotees and our good friend, welcome to our regular Ikadash Kirtan. Uh,非常感谢我们亲爱的奉献者和我们的朋友们,非常开心你们来到我们的一开的学场。And uh, today I'm very, so, I'm very happy to see all of you here, and uh, I also saw some new friends from Nepal, right? And welcome. And today,非常开心见到所有的你们,然后也有来自中国大陆的奉献者们,然后也有来自三位是尼泊尔的,然后非常欢迎你们来到这儿。Mm, and uh, today is Parama Ikadash, and every Ikadash is so auspicious. Today is even more as it's not only in Purushatama month, but we are also very honored to have His Holiness Bhakti Vigna Vinansa Narsimha Mahara to be our special guest of so many years. Let's say a lot Haribo to welcome Mahara. Haribo! Today is Parama Ikadash, and then 今天也因为每一个一开的戏都是非常的吉祥的特别是今天我们也有邀请到了他的圣恩巴蒂维格纳维纳萨马拉斯穆哈马哈拉作为我们今天的特别嘉宾是经过几年之后的所以让我们再次
It's a day in which we are encouraged to increase our hearing and chanting and remembrance of Lord Krishna. Um, sometimes devotees misunderstand the significance of a codice and they think the important thing is fasting. But fasting is not so much important. What's more important is to increase our remembrance of Krishna. We had the experience, however, should, how, how much, how important the Ekadasi was. One time I was staying in Calcutta, in our temple in Calcutta, and it was Ekadasi day. So the cook had prepared some vegetables with beans, and he did, he'd forgotten it was Ekadasi. 有一次呢,就是Maharaj在加尔哥达的庙里,那天呢,厨师忘了是Ekadasi,就做蔬菜的时候里面加了一些动物类。So usually, you see on the, the day of Ekadasi, it's customary that people who are serving Ekadasi, they will not eat any grains or beans. 通常呢,遵守Ekadasi戒食的人呢, Grains means rice and wheat and dal also. These things are not taken on the currency. It can be a bit difficult for some people because, well, I know like in Bengal, Bengali people when they eat, they like to eat a big quantity of rice. And so it kind of is very difficult for them. No rents. What to eat? What are you supposed to eat if you cannot eat friends? Well, there are other things to eat. Of course, you don't need to eat rice every day. You can take things like buckwheat. There's also canoa nowadays, fashionable, something popular. Canoa. You can take tapioca. You can take potatoes. potatoes. So there, there are many. The point is we need to give our stomach a rest on Ekadasi day. It's like if we, every day you fill the belly with rice and wheat and heavy grains, difficult to digest. So Ekadasi is a day to give the body some rest. And if you give the different organs like your kidneys and your livers and like that, you give them a rest, then it's better for the health. But if every day they're working hard to digest, it's not very good for the body. So, by reducing our eating, means you have more time to hear and to chant. 
减少进食，就意味着会腾出更多的时间去聆听、去唱诵。And this is a day, the Kadasi day, in which hearing and chanting are very important. So, in Kadasi day, hearing and chanting are very important. Hearing and chanting is always important, but it is even more important on the day of the Kadasi. So, the Kadasi is considered a very auspicious holy day. Hearing and chanting is always important. 但是在埃克达斯这天呢是尤为重要，所以埃克达斯被认为是神圣的日子。Just like a holy day in the Christian world, they would think of Sunday as the holy day, and you see, like Hong Kong, it's kind of closed on Sunday. A lot of places are closed; they don't open for business. 因为在信基督教的这个社会当中。人们嗯认为星期天是神圣的日子，所以呢，在今天呢，方商店都纷纷关门了。So similarly, Ekarasi is a holy day. If you go to Mayapur, if you go to our headquarters of the Hare Krishna movement, which is over in Maya in Bengal, in Ma, the place called Mayapur, then on the Ekarasi day, the offices are closed. 在西孟加拉的马尔普，在埃哈拉斯这一天，办公室就纷纷关门。You don't find anybody in the office last week because it's considered a holy day. People are busy chanting and hearing. 你在埃哈拉斯这一天呢？你在办公室找不着人，因为在这一天呢，被认为是神圣的日子，人们都在那里忙着去聆听和唱诵。So we had the experience that day. The devotee could put beans in the sabji, so nobody noticed, and the, the sabji was served out to everyone. Then they all started to eat, you know, because it, they were hungry. It's a courtesy. People just ate. and then it, somehow in the middle of the meal, somebody announced, "Oh no, there are beans in the sabji." <laughs> 就不是那就好了，因为大家都很饿，于是就开始能就就就吃起来了。可是吃到一半的时候，有人就呼喊说：“哎，你在这个沙子里的发现这个豆子了。” So when they realized there were beans in the sabji, then everyone felt very guilty because they realized they had broken the vow of the courtesy. 等到他们意识到这个沙子里有豆子的时候。So one of the very senior devotees went to Shri Prabhupada, who happened to be there in the temple at that time. He was there in Calcutta, and the devotee went into Shri Prabhupada's room and then confessed to Prabhupada how they'd eaten beans on the Ekadasi day. 有一个年长的奉献者，资深奉献者。就来到，就恰巧到了加尔各答的帕帕德的房间里，就坦坦白说，他们在 e c o l o g y 吃了进食了豆类。The Prabhupada looked up, was not pleased, of course, and he said to the he said to the devotee, "Then you all have to fast for three days." 然后当然帕帕德就嗯很不满意。So the devotees were all. Very, they felt very bad. They could understand Prabhupada's displeasure. And then, a short time later, Shiva Prabhupada said. Now tomorrow you must all fast. You must observe the ecology properly tomorrow. Then Papa Ji, then he said, "Tomorrow you must fast." So in this way, Sri Prabhupada was showing the devotees, teaching the devotees how important this ecology fast vow was, that we should observe it very carefully. 圣帕帕德就这样表明，遵守埃卡德西誓言是多么的重要。There are different levels of fasting and observing the ecology. 
Some people will observe it by just simply not eating grains and beans. But they will eat vegetables, they will eat anything which is not things like roots, something maybe a root, like uh, I said, semolina, the tapioca. It's a root. You can take it on the ekata season. It's a root. So you, you can cook these things, but we don't eat greens and beans. But you can eat other things. There's so many things. Many vegetables, as I said, potatoes, tapioca, but there's, when you think about it, there's many things. But other people, they may not take any uh, cooked food, they may just take some fruits. And some other people, they may do even more strict fasting. They may not eat even fruits. They may just take only some water. And there are other people, they won't even take water. They will do what is called nirjau fasting. They won't eat and they won't drink for the whole day. And some people will do even more strict. They won't sleep that whole night. They won't eat, they won't drink, and they won't sleep. So the whole night they're awake, chanting, hearing, talking about Krishna. So there are di different levels of fasting. You see, it's not the same for everyone. So Ekadasi is a day in which we have to, we have just some simple fasting. Simple fasting we, we, we saw today that the devotees were taking some food. So so one time, there was a pastime which took place some years ago now, in the times of Prabhupada's spiritual master, when in the days of uh, the, the, the society which Prabhupada's spiritual master had formed, the Godiyamat, the devotees were observing fasting on Ekadasi. And so a, mess, a, a, a visitor came and said, we're having a program, we would like your devotees to come and do kirtan and to preach to us. But the devotees, they said, Oh no, we are fasting today, it's a courtesy today, we're not going to go to any program. But when that news came to the Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Prabhupada, the, the spiritual master, 
then he was not pleased. He said, no, 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 you cannot do that. But the devotees were saying, no, Guru Maharaj, we're not eating today, we're, we're fasting. So he said, then cook prasadam and everyone eat, but go to the program. So he considered that the the attend the taking part in the missionary work is more important than observing some ritualistic fasting. So this ekadasi occurs, as we said, that two ekadasis every month, you got every couple of weeks practically, you have the ekadasi. So on the ekadasi day, it's customary for the devotees to have more programs of kirtan and chanting and talking also about the, the teachings of Lord Krishna. So it's a day which devotees look forward to. It's a special day, a holy day on the calendar. And we observe the fasting. It, we, the fasting began early in the morning and it will go up till tomorrow morning. So there's a particular time in the morning tomorrow when we will break the fasting. Some people they do full fasting, they don't eat the whole day. So, but by the proper time tomorrow morning, they will break the fast by taking just some water. But other people who are uh, taking foodstuffs, then they will break the fast by taking some grain. Sometimes we will get the special grains which come from Jagannath Puri. Lord Jagannath is worshipped and then we, and we get the special grains of rice from Jagannath Puri and can take a few grains of dry rice. So devotees all look forward to the Akarisi day. It's a day in which they like to go to the temple and they will spend time having more kirtan. Of course, every day you can chant the holy name. There are no rules in chanting when you should chant. You can chant every day. You can understand the benefit of the ekadasi in the association of devotees. Now sometimes people will give different merits to different ekadasis. They will describe about the different benefits you get by observing this particular ekadasi. But that is very fruitive. That is not path of pure devotion. 
With, we observe the ecology to get devotion for Lord Krishna. Other people, they may be observing ecology for many different reasons. They want to get money, they want to have a child, they want to have a nice wife, they want to have success in their business, whatever. So there are different types of material benefits offered on Ekadasi Day. And these benefits are offered to encourage materialistic people to practice to observe the ecology. But those people who are practicing Krishna consciousness, they're simply interested in the path of devotion, and their only purpose is to please Lord Krishna. So we just have to chant the holy name of Lord Krishna and the, and the goal is to get love for Krishna. And the, the, the more we chant, the more we call the name of Krishna from the heart, the more Krishna becomes obliged. Lord Krishna himself says, Naham tishtani vaikunte yoginam ridayeshuva tatra tishtani narada yatra gayanti madbhakta. Lord Krishna is saying that I am not in the hearts of the yogis who are meditating on me. And I am not in the Vaikuntha, I'm not in the Vaikuntha, in the spiritual world. But I am wherever my devotees, like Narada, are chanting my glory. So this is something about the holy day of the Kadasi. Like I say, that every day it's good to chant Hare Krishna, every day, but it's especially good on this day. And this is the special Ekadasi in the in that this month of Purushottam, which is considered a very inauspicious month for all material purposes. But it's a very good month for spiritual progress. We want you all to take advantage of this holy day, chant the holy name. The louder you chant, the more powerful it becomes. So we are inviting all of you to join in this nice kirtan. Chant from the heart, chant loudly. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. So the aim of the chanting is what? <coughs> chant from our heart and the two to get the devotional love to Lord Krishna, to please Krishna, right? So as Maharaj suggests, 
Let's chant from our heart and chant loudly, and the Krishna will be pleased. Okay, so let's start our prayer time. Thank you, Mahara. Thank you so much. His Holiness Bhakti Vigyana Vinasa Nara Narasimha Maharaj Ki Jai. So the first one is Yogita Bhakti. Thank <laughs> you.